Speaking about marriages, let me tell you how I deal often with people in with marital problems. Very simple. People, let's say I'm speaking to someone. So the husband says, my wife is like this, like this, like this, like this, like this, like that. A litany of complaints, a whole list. All the frustration, all the anguish is expressed. And I listen. And then I say, okay, so what do you want? What do you want? I have only three answers for you. There are only three solutions. There is no fourth. Now, obviously, this I've honed over many, many years. So I'm very proficient at this now. Before, I would, I would spend a lot of time uh, my ears would hurt. My head would hurt because I'd give a lot of time, but now I've chiseled it down. So I stop them, pause. I'm sure we could spend a whole week discussing your grievances. I have three answers for you, three solutions. There is no fourth. Remember that. So now let's go through these three solutions. Number one, you are deeply unhappy about your wife and your marital situation. I want you to answer these questions and therein lies the solution. Number one, change the situation. Change it. Change your wife. Can you change your wife? No. Fine. Can you change your situation? No. Your first answer is given. Let's move on to the second solution. So you, the first solution is not right for you, is it? Can you change her? Can you change your situation? I can't change it. So that is no longer the first solution. Number two, leave her. Leave her. Can you leave her? Now, don't misunderstand me. I'm not telling him divorce her. What I'm trying to is get him to think that this is the second solution. It's your choice, not for me to say, it's your choice. Leave her. Can you leave her? No, I can't. Fine, so the second solution doesn't work. So now you only have the third solution. There is no fourth, by Allah, there is no fourth. And the third solution is accept. Three A's, amend the situation. Can you amend the situation? No. Two, abandon the situation, second A. Can you abandon the situation? No, there is only the third, accept. Amend, abandon, or accept. Amend, abandon, or accept. Can you, third thing, accept. I can't accept it. Then I said, you are now asking for the impossible. You're asking for the impossible. You want a perfect solution. There is no perfection. No perfection. You want her to be perfect. You want your situation to be perfect. You want everything. You want her on your terms as you want her. You want your situation and marriage as you want it. You don't want to, and you can't change. You can't amend, and you can't abandon either. So what do you want? Your answer lies in these three solutions. You have to choose one. And the most difficult is, well, one of the most difficult one, all of them are difficult. It's difficult, it's impossible to change someone or situation. To some degree, yes, but not completely. The other is to abandon, that's not easy either. The third is to accept, no one's saying that's easy either. The reason is we want a perfect solution in all three. We want it to be a perfect situation where I should be able to change him or her completely. Nobody changes for anyone. One of the rules of life is, nobody changes for anyone. Even in marriage, you get what you get. You have to live with it. Truly, you get what you get. You have to live with it. So, amend, 
abandon or accept. There is no fourth solution. Now, why am I giving this example? Because this applies to everything in any situation. We want the perfect solution, but there is no perfection in the world. We want to change the world so that it's perfect for us. That can't happen. We can't abandon. Sometimes we can. Some, some situations we can just walk away from it because we are not so tied to it. And where we can't, for whatever reason, the third is to accept, to accept that imperfection. It's our failure to accept which causes us so much grief, which makes us miserable in the way we are with ourselves and with others.